So I'm Nina, I'm the multimedia specialist, and I'm always doing stuff with Haven. You know me a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Do you go by you go by Nate or do you go by Nathaniel? Oh Nate. Nate. How long have you been out here? Um uh, about five years. Five. And like in this location or do you Oh no. In this location about two. Two years here? And then five years total like out here. Um no more than that. More? Yeah, like fifteen. Fifteen. Just kind of got used to the outdoors, you know. Uh, I can't remember the last time I slept in a house. Really? Really. There has been some hard days when it's rained and stuff. Right. Water is a homeless man's uh, worst fear. The like when it rains hard? Yes, because everything gets wet, and then a lot of times you lose a lot of things if you're in a tunnel. You gotta hurry up and get it out, unless you have the water blocked off somehow. And the water is a strong force. So the last time you and I saw each other, you were not here at Haven, right? You were you were living in the tunnels. That's correct. Tell me a little bit about what made you come to Haven after living in the tunnels for so many years. Uh, I had to get out of the tunnel. Um, I was beginning to feel like a caveman living without a home, a house, shelter. Uh, it will get to you after a while, and it did. It got to me, and I knew I had to make a change. And I knew I wasn't <clears throat> heading down the right road anymore. I never thought that I really was. And it just kept getting worse, and so I had to do something. And uh, of course, uh, I ended up here. Now that you're here, how do you feel? Uh, much better than I did when I was out there. Uh, I have air conditioning here. Yeah. Uh, I feel better uh, in other ways. You know, I, I'm eating now. Before, I eat maybe one meal a day. Uh, Haven for Hope has helped me a lot and uh, obtained benefits and some of the things that I wasn't able to do myself. So what would you tell anybody that is thinking about coming to Haven that maybe doesn't want to come to Haven? Uh, I would say it's not a mistake at all coming here because there's nothing out there uh, that you can really do that they can't because uh, they can pretty much do it all and give you the assistance that you need. Even I was skeptical sure. about coming here, but now that I've been here and I've seen what I've done and the help that I've got, I didn't make a mistake at all. Yeah. And um, if I had a chance to do it all over again, I would come here. I want to uh, succeed and uh, hopefully eventually soon, uh, I get some type of housing. <laughs> Okay, but there. Still taking it? Yeah. It's happening. All right, let's go upstairs. We're gonna go upstairs now and see my new apartment. Yes. Are you excited? Yes, I am. <laughs> You're still in shock. Yeah. This is really happening. It is really happening. You did all the work. You might have to pinch me. Make sure I'm, this is not a dream. <laughs> Right. Well, this is real nice. I'm finally glad that I got there. I think I'll do this now. Yep. Another, another place that where I was at before I came to Haven. Uh, Haven for Hope, so it got me here. Pete got me here, worked with me, and so did you. Hmm. <laughs> and I thank y'all for that. Um, I don't know what else to say. Here I am. Here you that are. Worked, you know? yeah. And if I can do it, anybody else can do it. That's for sure. Just gotta have faith and patience and put the work into it. You get it done, you get anything done.